so far. And I mean, there's no better two teams to have in the grand finals, given that this was the expectation before the season, before even locking that these two teams would be on top in the America's League. And now here we are, gifted, nine weeks later. And gifted with an opportunity to see them clash when the stakes have never been bigger. Loud starting off on the attacking side. It's been well documented how successful they are on this map. How they run circles around their opponents, and they're going to have the opportunity to do it here again against bitter rivals. And trap play set up here on Cat. With Som down bottom mid. Yeah, the paranoia threw in. It's completely countered. Two is with two. Sadak in a position where he may be able to deal a little bit more damage as Kalanzin is helping out as well. Numbers in favor of Loud, but they've been equalized. The two artists with 41 HP has to dash away. And we're going to get a brief moment of reset. I can't believe this actually turned back in NRG to make it even either. Look at Artis. He's so far up. He is so proactive. In a situation like this, he's making a play right off the gates in this pistol round. But it's the wrong play, actually. He could have gotten a flank on A. They're walking into B by themselves. The tricky part is they still, I mean, even though they'll clear sight here, there's a lot of room for artists to be in any of these pockets, so they have to go really slow. The problem for NRG is Psalm's on the... <gasps> oh my goodness. 30 seconds Position left. now given away. Spike planted. Kalanzin just has a dart, no shock dart or anything like that. Only say that because you look at how low the health is for both members of NRG. If Artis did not spot Kalanzin there, Psalm would be in a world of hurt, but now he has this knowledge that he can go into this 1v1. The question is, does Kalanzin expect it? Artist looking for the swing. Both known. Tom creeps forward. Nine HP is not going to be enough to stand up in that fight. And now Artist, who had been spotted from the beginning, cannot deal any damage. Loud, get the pistol. And it's important to no acknowledge there is Brazilian representation in the crowd today. Well, I'd say it's like a 50 50 split, given how things sounded at the beginning. <laughs> I couldn't tell who was chanting for who. <clears throat> That's a big pistol round. Uh, on a sense, the, uh, throughout the entire season, we've been talking about, oh, it's so defensive sided. No matter how hard you win on the defensive side, it's not over yet, given this te other teams will switch sides. Yeah. But it's actually kind of with Loud, the way that they've been playing has actually shifted back to being a little bit more even. But yesterday, NRG against EG, it was the typical story. They started with a 9-3 half and almost lost that lead, despite winning both pistols. And so with that history in mind, the question is, will Loud be able to replicate what they've done in the past, where they have found success on this attacking side? The statistically inferior side at that. This round's all about reading out the stack that NRG called. Here. There's going to be a drone in for Tuis. Who can break it? And whether the drone can get any information that signifies the stack is here. It's only Som spotted with the shorty up close. Som usually will be playing towards A, but now with the knife spotting the KJ. They're not actually quite sure, but either way, it's not running into a stack. They're going back. And so is NRG, actually. This info crashes is garnering a lot. He might die, sure, but not before getting a kill. Which in a situation like that is all you could possibly ask for. He gets his, and the rest of energy feeling a lot of pressure. Look at him huddled up. Still pivoting. With 30 seconds, still pivoting. And it should allow them to actually continue and have a clean anti-eco. It could have gotten dangerous. If they barreled through Cat there, or if they went in with that initial drone, you can see how cautious they are and how much they respect each other right off the bat. 10 seconds left. Loud, get the spike down. Simon Artist, the only two that remain. I mean, almost a deja vu of what we saw in the previous round. Just a little bit more health for the defenders this time. Interesting smoke. Act like he's crossing in spawn. Either way, they're just gonna go for the exits. Just gonna go to die to the spike. And I like how Les and Sadak actually held the space outside of switch right there, outside of that breakable door specifically so that his team could rotate out in the late round, in the time when they need to get their guns out. So either way, no consequence for Loud. And it is a very clean anti-eco. Even with the risk that was involved in that one. And they 
only lose two E's. They keep a, a Phantom, a Vandal, and a Bulldog into the next round. That's not a bad setup, all things considered, for Loud. Only the one Spectre, kind of the weaker weapon that you consider this bonus now for them. Four rifles into it. So super, super even. Despite what should happen. So NRG have a big task ahead to anti-bonus them, and Artist is going to want to challenge top mid right away. You've been seeing that over and over. Here. Within the first three rounds, really. Some damage done, actually, on both Aspas and Sadok with that spam. Poke, a little warning shot. You start to see some of the flashes head out towards A. Victor pushed off the angle. And Loud gladly fill in. Also note, yeah, they've left less than a cheeky little spot on the outside of the alarm box, too. Oh. Aspas has been known to pop up in that little spot right there. Finesse gets into a cross with Victor. This is really dangerous. It feels like we've seen this before off the flash, but that's on the swing, looking for the third crash, he's delivers. Two, he's trying to counter punch back though, and there's not much he can do there. NRG are on the board. That's such a beautiful pickup from Victor to get into that crossfire position, and a mistake by Loud to try to push in there when there was no smoke down, when there was no smoke available, given that they just went for that tree pressure. The follow-up flash is just beautiful, and I love as well. Whether intentional or not, that little jump to peek with the flash so that if somebody's just spraying, yeah. better chance of staying alive through it to catch him fully unaware. Massive, massive pickup for energy. And again, artists dueling down mid. Do you have an Odin on Cal and Zine? Here. They'll check for the one way, throw a dart over towards A and immediately pivot back towards this B side. Deploying drone. All five from Loud feeling things out. Looking to see where they can strike. You see the Shock Dark clearing out the first Nano, traded in kind by Crashies. Flash already out. Looking to be the first line of defense. Aspas is taking a lot of damage. Look through those Nanos. Finesse close by. They're pausing so much with a minute left. They're just looking for picks right now before they start the next step. And there's not a single thing being shown. Energy are so disciplined here again. It's Finesse and Crashies who are back sight between the spams that are coming through. They finally strike. Artist netting a free one there, that flash is gorgeous. And they've been set up so well by Victor's utility these last few rounds. Loud find themselves within striking distance, so. Two remain, and they do have the spike. They've cleared out backside, but they are weak. Palantine's gonna have to make a massive play here. And he instantly just dropped by Som. Som coming through B main there. Easily able to take down. Kao and Zinu set up. I actually like how Sadak repositioned the spike plant there, but that is really rough. To have his contact player get taken out before he even gets the spike down. Yeah. And that's just gross. Again, the follow-up flash from Victor. This is a well-known idea. It goes back to their remaining. first bounce when this comp really got solidified in the meta. Victor's flash is over top from spawn to help the guys peek out of back sight are so nice, but also finding the timing there because Loud, in this new iteration of their sense, which isn't a comp change or anything like that, but they are able to slow it down. You saw they were around 30 seconds standing in the lane. Finding the timing for the second peak from Victor is not easy. It's so important here to shut down less if you're NRG right off the gate, because that guy, when he gets hungry for those lurks, he'll take as much as you give him. And we already saw a little bit of that in middle in the bonus round. He got shut down there, too. Ow. Also important to consider for Finesse to be the one who's starting to get some of these early kills. You know how confidence driven this game can be for the leader to be calling and fragging like that this early bodes well. Oh, my future. goodness. Down to 9 HP. Oh, spot's close by. He's got to be shaking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And there's no way out. He has his dash, but with 9 HP, it's so gets, difficult to escape. It just gets worse, too, when you consider now Artist is here. Finesse rotating off. And to be clear, they never knew he was actually there. As the patience paid off. He's got the dash proc, and now they know. Yep, that'll do it. Aspas with no ground gained. And that's the spike, too. And to see Finesse even be selfless on top of getting a couple good kills here early.
is so important. They're jumping out for the second player to go for the kill on the swing on Colin Zine. And this off angle is so nice. Again, that's how you catch less. He sees something empty. He's going to go. He's going to continue to go until he finds contact. And that's not the angle you expect if you're less. Honestly, throughout this playoff so far, Loud has only played two matches, but Les has looked like the MVP in both of them mm -hmm. for his team. He's been so good. He's going to have to slow down immediately, not go for any of those Standing ahead. expiration bouts. An artist finally, a third round where he's aggro, but it's not in mid this time, it's in B main. Also note, he hasn't done an op at all. There's Another five players round here. He handle. He's going to get a little info oh. off of the Hunter Fury. Crash, he's getting attacked. Crash, he's getting the kill. Now a lot forced to reset and reconsider how they want to approach this round. They look for an opening and it's just into Crash's crosshair again. I mean, Louder getting decimated. Last player Can standing. Can 2 flip the script in a 1v3? Finesse is weak. Spike's out of reach. The onus is on 2 to make a play. He honestly has to try to get up on the lane at some point. Saw him in a position where you can peek, and Tuis is onto it immediately. I think he heard him. This double cross, this high low in market and logs, it's almost unbeatable, but with a jiggle or two. Maybe. Oh, he got one. <laughs> but there you see the strength of the high low, right? Yeah, you can take one down, but there's no way you get both. It's crazy that we've seen multiple instances of take flight. That sort of play where it looks like an un... Like not even able to get a kill in one of the setups. Late in the round, Finesse jumping across last time, this high low this time. And Loud is still getting a kill. Yeah, they're still getting one. They're so good. No matter what you do, you have to be perfect in that sense. Flash here from Sadak to get control of A main. And Victor is there to receive. The knife, it'll slow them down. Just pistols for loud here. Conteen is his ult, but that's the only real thing they have as an equalizer and attempted one. And this seems like it's just gonna be eco frags for NRG once more. Just complete dominance, and honestly, it's so odd to see a team of loud's caliber so kind of at a loss early in this map. On the side that they have started to change tides on. It's ridiculous, dude. I mean, they are dominating in these first engagements as well. And you saw the focus on that at the beginning of the game. Yeah. An artist who just had one of the most insane defense side performances from a Jet player. It's starting to heat up again. 3-0 and now in first kills to first deaths. It's starting to. The guy's 10-2 and two right now. I mean, that guy's full on fire. <laughs> We might have a push here instantly down mid from Artis. Yeah, you see the setup on the minimap. Yeah, both Sam and Victor, the double flashers. And the dart as well. He might go for a dash. Smoke top mid, dash in, but there's nobody there. And this is a setup where Loud can react into A if they get the information. I think they might. And I think they may be a little wise to that too. As you see Finesse's setup, everything is here. But he gets hit by the knife. And they're going to be able to exit onto the site just fine. That smoke top mid kind of gave it away, and you can see actually only three players entered this A site. <laughs> Didn't break the turret because it was suppressed, but... KO ult in response from Victor. They're going to hit this flood it fast. They have finessed this lockdown too, but again, countered by Cohen Zito. He is playing off site, so they can't really rely on that tool. I think he got suppressed. He's running back into this now. Trying to make a play up here. You see the shock darts going through. Numbers heavily in favor of NRG. Cowan Zine and Less. Can they hold the spike? Can they hold the line? Nowhere to run! There's his own assault used. Less clicking the first down. Kalen Zee gets another. They're gonna hold this thing. It's a 2v4! What a round from Loud! Finally, a response. There's a big drop there for Loud. But the setup is perfect. The entire round, Kalenzi actually did not get suppressed by Victor's ult. They played off site. They accepted the shark attack that came out from NRG. Saw the smoke, saw the signs, instantly reacted into the A. And nullified everything.
Surprise, Finesse actually didn't go for his lockdown. Similar strike setups here, focus towards A, you see the setup? It's just flash and darts. No this commitment. For the spam, yeah. Yeah. Finally, Crash just gets his out and online. The Sova, the Sova battle on that is crucial. That knife just tagged a couple members from Loud in a main. Destroyed. What is the response off of that? Also note, artists op online for I believe the first time this half. And he did take that B line with the spam that went on. This is something energy has been adding to their playbook a lot is allowing themselves to give a lot of pressure in one direction to funnel the loud players and their opposing team into while it might look weaker on the minimap it's an op but loud's not biting at all they're happy to go engage where the strong side was right off the bat 45 seconds too they don't have as much room to pivot given they don't have mid control oh and that knife is just going to delay things even longer right here I, I have to go for a lockdown with 30 seconds. Fair no spams, yeah. they're just fighting. Oh my god! Saw with the ace, the resistance keeps the distance as Loud cannot get on the site. Are you kidding me? Where did that just come from? What in the world is this? <laughs> What do you say? That just is not real. Psalm. W streamer, rookie season, first time in a grand finals regionally ever. And that's what he does in the 10th round. And it's a point similar to what you were saying about artists. He's thrown into this rivalry. And he looks as comfortable as ever. Look at Aspas hunting, oh, trying oh. to get up top. He can't land anything. So much distraction as Crash uses start, tagged everyone as well. Real good presence of what's before him. The off shot not landing, splitting the uprights as less punishes. Now things slow down. Too, he's hasn't sli having slipped the net. He's looking for more. Honestly, Energy have lost a big reason why they're so good at this map right here in this round. And I think it's because of the momentum just gained by Psalm. Chaotic things after a situation like that. Here. <laughs> with every intention of fighting fire with fire have gotten themselves down to a 3v3. Now numbers their way. Let's have Smalley's here. But Crashies! They fight the flanker! And there's gonna be one more. Yeah, Crashies still it. looking for another. And it's found. Now two he's left in this with the Sheriff, a 1v2. We've learned no round is safe. First shot's tagging, going a bit wide. The Paranoia looking for the swing. Crashies with the span. Too many targets to choose. None of them found. You imagine Crash, he's is gonna get the Hunter Fury offline off of that. They get up to seven. With that, a fast eco round from Loud, really causing chaos. That was no timeout, nothing called there. The Loud instantly trying to bring it to him after a ridiculous round out of song. Planted. If Ospots gets that kill, all of a sudden you have a cross. Fnaf can't even get into position to put this lockdown down. Very dangerous. Enemy spotted A. And also props to Finesse there, getting off of the defuse after that paranoia goes off because he knows he's gonna have to fight. Three players in mid here, trying to support the op of Artis, and that actually might allow one of these NRG players to get even deeper than even this. First shot rattles off. And you're right, they leave Finesse in its place, tucking inside the smoke to see if anyone dare challenge the shroud left before him. And it's very important that Crash has got his ult on last round because round 11 here, we've got KO ult and the KJ ult too. Les has had this for a couple of rounds now, but obviously Crash can cancel as long as he plays away from that KO ult, if, they, if he allows them. And right now he's really close. If he allows them to combo that without breaking the cage, ult, that's dangerous stuff. Oh, that spam hurt. He's gonna get pushed off the angle though. Yeah, no ult here allowed. They're gonna get a free piece sight. Oh, Vicious on the flank as well. So much attention was drawn towards Finesse, who had just showed himself, and that was the window for Victor to strike. Well, now they have the Hunter's Fury for the post too. And Loud is constantly leaving one extra, two extra outside of the site. Crashies also has his dart and Victor has two flashes. Look for them to try to set that up and conceal it with 
The flash. Out. Just waiting now. Start to see some of that spam go through. You have to wait for a timing while that is getting reloaded. The Odin out of Kalanzine. Trying to look for drone tag two. They're 4v5. Burning. They're burning the clock on this one. There it is. It's going to get all the way down. Now Spots is dead. Soft's going to get one too. Kalanzine one against the world in a sense. Time. Drops on one and he's bought almost all the time he needs. The dink is good. But they should still have enough time. Yeah. No! a good job of buying time Next there. The half. Just the Odin spam alone. That's what they were waiting for. That was the cue for them to drone in, look for the tag and start using that Hunter's Fury to get in. But also having to deal with less all the way back. I mean, artists sprinted towards that spike and they still didn't have enough time. That one hurts. Because NRG was looking to have a fantastic half after they got their seventh there in the last. All of a sudden now, Five is in reach of Loud, and that is not the sort of half you want to have. No one really close to ultimates here in this final round of the half. Whoa, shot out from Artis, not connecting though. It's a force sack from Loud towards A. Just less on the opposite side of the map for now. Remember, as soon as the smoke faded last time, crazy things happened. Loud wants to duel again, you see it. And they spam him. Finesse off of a jump peek. On a spamable angle, he gets punished. Victor got tagged too. Drone dash in. Loud have the sight. Has the spike committed now, start, finally starting to work his way out. Artis is on the opposite side of the map too. He's not gonna be able to join the play for a little while. While Loud has already gotten in. They've set up in their post plant positions. So they're starting to dump utility. They have the setup they're looking for. Bless also in a position to be able to peek up. You see him just on the other side of the box while they try to funnel in from tree. And once again, they cannot. This looks like it's going to be a flawless holdout from Loud. Or as close to it as you could possibly get. Loud get five. That round is only the second first kill for Loud. And you can see the difference it makes. That pause a lot. Ball, it's been a tightly contested bout so far. And the crazy part is they've had so many battles on this map. In Grand Finals where this Optic Core has played against Loud, they've started on Ascent three times. Home ground for Loud. Well, puts around immediately again. And it's all pace from NRG. The Kalantin shots able to hold him back for now. A third. One Spamming through. They're lit up. And they're dropped. Pistol Loud. Both pistols now for Loud. And that is just perfect from Kyle and Zine. The double shocks that came in got so much damage done. Obviously, the first player there who went down. Look at that. Doing so much damage, it's twoies. Both shocks get a kill, and then the dart is just way too much for two players who are already dealing with a lot trying to get through that choke. There's no way you can break down that dart. And he is instantly in that position where you know he knows what he wants. Here. No force up from NRG. A heavy stack towards A. Right now here. understanding there is a marshal on the board. What else can they feel out? What else can they find? Sadak feeling some of the pressure. Uh -oh. The classic. Not able to land. Man, he really didn't trust that. No, he didn't. That they were going to push off of that flash. Uh -huh. <laughs> but a flawless round out from Loud. To tie us up at seven. And hold on, is that Sadak? Shooting some bodies? Oh, that's crazy. What happened to respect? He, I mean, he can be the showman. He can, <laughs> he can be the showman for sure. And honestly, NRG should have been able to punish that out there. He was fully yeah. blind. You had artists updraft over top. One enemy and remains. somehow he just survives while fully blind for about like two seconds with the classic in his face. Oh, it was just nerf darts. That's why. <laughs> All tied up. That Ares is a really nice tool to carry over into a bonus round because it unlocks these sort of strategies right here where Kalanzin is really controlling B main. 
like that. Sadok just baited him into Aspas's martial angle. Looking for another. There's that flash, and it's good. Oh, well, flash is great. Very nicely done. Victor is taking a lot of space mid, though. And this is what Khan was talking about, trying to insert somebody deep in these positions. And it might net them a kill, but Aspas aware, and the timing is terrible. Well, Victor was far from it. And that's not inserting. That's going way deep on the lurk. Yeah. NRG forced to reset here while the threat of getting bonus looms heavy. Revealing area. How on earth do they left. equalize this and get a, five, a 3v5? That just seems so far from possible right now. Rotating all the way around. Yeah, they're trying to get something in, but unfortunately. NRG in the situations where that first kill has gone in Loud's favor, which, by the way, is very few rounds. They just aren't really finding gaps back in, and it is going to be one of these fake timeouts and a save on the attack side. Oh my god. The differences between the attack side and the defense now. Let's With go. Aspas getting the op online after the bonus is. Such a strong tool, one that you might not consider in this position. Stays concealed for now. You start to see some of the spam through the smoke. Crash uses drone is going to give energy a little bit of room to work with. That alarm bot forces a pause. Meanwhile, Som waiting for some of that aggression. You see two members looking to swing out, and Som's not able to clean up either of them. Now we see that off so perfectly teed up. Looking for the second, not gonna land. They get the shot on him though. Five HP here. He'll feel the pressure. Finesse, Finesse. is deep. He's inserted again. But can he convert? Can he get any value out of it? Spotting one, giving the space away. Timing wasn't great for Victor last time he went for something like that. But Finesse has found his way all the way back around through trees. So Aspas has to actually cover this. That's finding the great timing on the Kawanzin. I have the spike. Now 3v3, and he's still here. He's a nuisance. He's pesky, and he has not been dealt with yet. How much more attention can he draw? Right into the op of Aspas. That pinch that Finesse set up by getting a successful flank off. Just not coming fast enough. And also, Tuiz did such a phenomenal job holding back the A main Ten players, instantly left. taking one down, paranoying in. So Aspas can take the time that he needs to deal with Finesse through that window. And it's two saves in a row. NRG losing control, obviously, on this attack side. They have not gotten around yet. It's been all out four rounds now. And you see a light buyout from NRG leading into the fifth of the half. The important thing here and the difference between these lurks from today and yesterday against EG for NRG was those lurks were being used to control the flow of information and control the calls. Here they're being used as the spear, as the way to find themselves back into the round. It's because these first kills from Lot are just so good. Aspas escaping despite a flash being used early here. Stinger's bought up. Crashy's the only rifle that got saved over. It's been a monster in playoffs. But you're starting to need round wins fast here for NRG despite the economic situation. Speaking of fast, they... Artish is so far up already. And there was no room. Aspas willing to give a little bit of space up to hold the deeper choke. And that's another first round, or that's yeah. another first kill for Loud. That stat is getting flipped on this that? defense. First half, they only got two first kills. Now they've almost gotten every single one on this defensive side. Yeah, and if certainly, I mean, if for recent memory, I may very well may be all of them. Sadak taking a little bit of damage there. Getting peppered by the inferior weaponry. Oh, that was awkward. 
Unlucky timing there for Sadak as Victor cleans him up. Aspas arrived. 30 seconds Perched left. up in heaven. Oh, and he gets dropped by Finesse. Crashes has a gun here. It's a 1v2, and he's healthy. I mean, you talk about needing a big swing round, something to turn the momentum. This would be it if Crashies can pull it off. He's going to try to tuck away. He's got it down to one. Four HP! And Crashies with the clock! Absolute king of 1v2s here in playoffs. Pivotal rounds coming down the crashes over and over. And honestly, Loud played that very, very well despite the mistimed peaks together. They rotate back into that door, break it, the turret comes up. And then they're able to double swing confidently. It's just slightly off put, and that spray control from crashes is just phenomenal. Remember, it was after a big play from NRG in the previous half that Loud went aggressive. They leaned into the chaos. They fought fire with fire. What do they do here? Three perched up, looking for a mid pinch. So, um, he's got trouble right now. And he did not get the information that this is a full walk down. So the players who are rotating in or out of B are going to be in huge trouble. Start to see some of the smoke traded. Artist the first through. Loud actually gave up on that mid control. There's no smoke in market. Well, remember, Som was getting pressured in mid. He had dropped one down for defender spawn, but that was it. Either way, the spike down. And Finesse in a position to make a play again. He's been so consistent up until this point. They've got to fight for control here. 3v3. Hard is spamming through with the stinger and Som in a They're position going for the that has to be cleared. The paranoia is good. It's going to buy some time, but how does Tui's land that shot? Artis with the blades, not landing. Not landing at all. Loud punch back. It was so crucial for NRG to fight back for control there because of that res, that no command that came in from Sada, not only suppressing them, not allowing them to be any Uto combos, but he got res back up and made it back to even. And there, definitely, the call comes in really fast. This is the sort of pressure Saw gets put on on this team. It's a very active mid-round team. So sometimes, they're going to make a call, and Saw will not have his smoke available. In this instance, I think actually realizing the amount of pressure that Saw was under, I think they made the right call to go into B, but just missing that market smoke. In that case, they probably should have been on three rounds away from this first map. And those heroics are the only thing that have netted them around here in the second half. So you're right, it's a lot to ask for, but I guess that's the fun thing about this matchup, right? Is that there's always stuff like that <laughs> that keeps it competitive, that keeps us on our toes. NRG leaning towards A, they have Crash Chief's Hunter Fury. A light by here, two stingers from the attacking side. I love that from Sadak too, just walking up, flashing. He definitely put himself in danger, but he got two pieces of key info there. Aspas getting a little info too on the dash, which is very well done. Not just preserving his life, but getting information for his team. Oh, what? Track getting cheeky with the try, making the play. This looks like this may be another round for NRG. I mean, how much loud can equalize. They've done so much right now. There's a couple players who are peppered. That Kalenzi might be able to spam with the Odin. Or Victor may be able to spam on the less. That door may have kept him alive. 10 HP for Artis. 17 HP for Aspas. I mean, everyone's just hanging on for dear life. Clutching on to any bit of health that they could have. The spike continues to tick away. Tui's with a massive hold to get to third, potentially, on the menu. But he looks the wrong way. Didn't get the smoke off either. And Finesse able to clean him up. A 2v2 quickly turns into a 1v2. And Finesse cannot deal. And there's plenty of time here allowed to get the defuse despite how much it looked like it took to get into that site man they're fun i want to go sit with them <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we're sitting with them already that's true energy with the repush into tree there because of finesse on the lurk they really wanted to capitalize off of that good positional advantage that they had but Tui's is just too good so strong in those positions where he has to adjust really quickly his crosshair. That's another scattered buy for NRG again. This time two pistols, two stingers. 
one rifle in the hands of Crashies. A key reason why they're still in this game. She's just toying with him. They're going back into Cat against Sadak, and I think trying to challenge the IGL right now. It's a good idea. It's very well advised. Given you know, you know what he's going to do. Julius is close by to help, and there it is. He delivers again off of the flash. Sonic nets and one of his own. That's the spike, too. It's trapped. Crashes has to try to gain it back. There's just no real way. It seems like NRG can hold up with the weaponry that Loud bring to the table. Loud get to Matt Point. Match point. This has shifted so fast. Just the one round by NRG. The 1v2 by Crashies is what they have on this attack side. The timeline really tells the story. And we reverted straight back to the traditional ideas here on Ascent. Five is just not enough. Time for a field test. It's way too much to give up on your defense. And there's huge ults now for Loud too. Energy does have some of their own. And that's gonna help. Sadak is a silly man. He, he, he does have silly moments, doesn't he? <laughs> Despite that loud of, I mean, they've been phenomenal. 4v5s. They've won so many of them. We're gonna have to do it again. Five 4v5s for loud in this map so far. I mean, that's how they got those first half rounds. I think there's definitely the tools to do it right now. Just the fact that energy haven't gotten into the site after that lockdown is crazy. Tweez. Oh, one more pulse and he's gone. Yeah, he's dropped. Now two members down for the defensive side. Kalantin still has his ult, choosing not to use it to counter the lockdown that was invested by Finesse. And this one's key. Very difficult for them to win the round, but they can do a lot of damage. Look at the money for NRG. It is in the bin. It really is. Artist. Two free ones. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. The third around the wall. Dashing away, staying alive, tucking behind his cloud first. Gun got jammed. And that's fan. I mean, how do you stay alive through that spam? Victor's here. They've showed up. There's help. That's a flawless round for NRG. If they lost two guns there, all of a sudden, two people can't buy in that round. That is huge work out of artists to find the fight and then also to stay alive. Despite how long it took them to get into that site. And the fact that there were key ults on the side allowed. Loud looked like they want to actually just wait until the opportune moment to use those so that they can end this game yeah. before it goes to overtime. Three rounds is a lot to ask for on this attack. Thankfully, NRG have a couple key ones from their side too, the no command. Free clear here from Loud on Cat. Crashies might end up getting picked off if he's not careful. But also the flank could come really fast. You don't have any of that KJ util on this side of the map. Most of it's towards B. For now, they delay. Artis is down. That's the entry. That's the goal button. Well, two, he's crept his way up Pat. Just three left for NRG now. And it feels like that opportune time now. Lockdown, Hunter's Fury, everything able to be thrown into this. Yeah. I mean, really leaning everything behind that blow to put him away. Song just tried a crazy hero play. Paranoia TP up top. Victor tried finding window off of that Hunter's Fury, and it's just instantly shut. Now Crashy says that a huge 1v2, but a 1v5? No way! Loud take map one!
You heard Sean talking about its strengths on defense, its strengths against the Harper Viper, potentially. And already Sadak is playing solo A while the rest of his team goes walkabouts. This should be expected from NRG. Loud love to do this despite the map. It doesn't even matter. They're walking about. You're right. Dude, they've, they've got control. They've, they've walked about so far that they're currently standing on the spike. And I don't know how energy are going to equalize this. There's one player left on this side of the map. Yeah, they're going to take shout. I mean, they're going to take some space on side or at least attempt to, but they still haven't grabbed the prize possession. They still haven't grabbed what they're looking for. They still don't have a spike. What is going on? I mean, they're just walking randomly, aimlessly around the map right now, hoping to find one gap. Nade straight in. I need to find the space, and this round has gone horrendously sideways for NRG. And that actually becomes all three pistols now for Loud. NRG have been great at pistol rounds throughout playoffs. Part of the reason why they made such a good lower bracket run. Remember that initial game against EG in playoffs? Lost or won every single pistol, but still lost the series. If they're not having that big toolkit within the scoreline, things could get really bad real fast. And again, nice TP here for Sadak. One peak top truck instantly gets down. Oh, he stays. He doesn't even teleport out. Oh, and they broke it with an nade. He's really persistent. And he's going to have a shot at second. Victor's so weak here. Pulls the teleport back. And Victor has tucked. Meanwhile, Energy are going to attempt to find space elsewhere on the map, and they can't. Everything has been so labored these few rounds. At least on the side of Energy for Loud, it's looked as easy as possible. No matter where they went there. Yeah. Same like on the pistol round. No matter where they went, they were running into somebody unexpectedly. Loud. Again, another bonus opportunity. They've won one. That's what catapulted them towards that lead. On a sense. Towards a three round lead to close out the game. That sort of thing can swing and snowball real fast. Energy's attack sides on Bind have been really good. Probably because not only of the burst potential of the composition, but also just because it's slightly off meta. I said cutting edge. They found a way to work the harbor on this map. You see, they tried to set up Sadak there for an aggressive peek early down long. He took a ton of damage for it. That damage has been finished off. Sadak's down. Finally, an opener for NRG. Now they're going to have a chance to split on here. Less. He's going to have a lot to deal with, a lot to do. Meanwhile, you see where Tui's is set up here. He knows that he's able to hold this space if they try to flip through teleporter, but the Trailblazer's going to see him running and tucking tail. Look at, yeah. I mean, Tui's is positioned all the way up bathroom, too. It's funny, if he got TP'd on, he's in a little bit of a weird spot. But now he's hard controlling bathroom, which is a key way to retake on this A site. Unless Crashies can do something about it, but he doesn't seem to be interested in, in feeling that out at all. And for Crashies, there's no way you expect this flank this fast. No. Tui's finding the timing, finding the opening, creeping his way forward. He might actually wait now for Ospox, who's reclaring sand. Step by step. There it is. There's the swing and there's the kill. Imagine a moment of frustration for Crashies, but energy still with the shot here. Attempting to stabilize the round, but Kawantin continues to be the thorn in their side. And Tui is still healthy. There's a barely missed Molly for Kensam. Oh, he still took some damage. They're going to bonus him again. Can Artis win this 1v2? They're so weak. No! Something needs to be done to stop these bonuses. And something needs to be said about Tui's and his movement. Well, just a Spectre there takes down Crashies after the double step. Okay. And he stepped up big on Ascent. Again, so clean. Aspas and Tui is just combining there. You saw the patience from Tui to wait for Aspas to slow clear back through Sand. And even with all that slow clear, there's plenty of time. Three stingers bought. Victor only one Satchel here, so they're going to try to take bathroom control against Sadok's Phantom. He just got the second. 
Yeah, it does seem like perhaps off of a flash from Crashies. No, they actually decide to go careful. He loves the box to double satchel out there. Nothing found. And there's one of those really, really good TPs that Sadak has. This is so, I mean, this is so clean from Loud. Not only does Sadak get two at the opener and then gets away, stays stays alive, gets another, but Kawanzin also trailblazer through teleporter to apply more pressure on the pinch outside of showers. So I'm wants the TP here. And for good reason, he picked up that Phantom. With the high tide still up, he's able to do that for free. The second Cascade used too. Now Finesse Justice is gonna try to lurk in down. on the other side. But this is classic NRG against Loud. It is. Loud has seen this so many times. And you see they even have Les who's still playing back B to confirm that that's not where the hit was going, that the teleport was a fake, and that they, keep, that they can keep attention on A. Sam, did he spot ahead? The tiniest of pixels. And this is doable now. Kintui's went it out on his own, though Sam is weak. He's gonna have to put the spike down. It's a challenge! And Tui's wins it out again. Again, perfect round from Tui's. He's literally a, a pixel away from actually exposing himself there to some when peeking through that harbor high tide. And as soon as he confirms that spike is really, he doesn't have that brimstem. But either way, there's not gonna be anybody there to actually find. You gotta be careful here because it may look like A is weak, but Loud has four by Octagon. If they feel a lot of pressure in showers, they can pounce very quickly. Yeah, actually, it might be a counter call specifically against this double satchel down. They instead, they just push down long. They're making so much noise though. Artist actually has full information and you see how he tucks just away, not showing himself. Loud think that they're completely unchecked right now. Very well done. Sadak, remember the op, you heard it at the beginning of the round. In a position to make a play. But is there gonna be enough to dissuade? Given the utility, the flash, the wall, the nade. Yeah, he's gotta get out. Really nothing to punish right now either. A 5v5 retake on the site. Given the flanks. It's just so much to deal with. Now they're gonna have Seekers, they have Showstopper, they're gonna have to go for the two! And Victor is not able to get it off! The fuse is extinguished! And now the orbital strike! Sadak taking a little friendly fire there, but staying alive. Artist on the flank. Oh, but a 1v5? A 1v4 now, and Sonic's not even concerned with the kill. Just get the defuse, just take the round, and that... just continue to snowball. That is a monster round from Sadak there. Denied the razor in his face, and then they ult where that slow field is. I suggest you move. Catch one of the NRG players back into it. Even if it was team damage onto Sadak. That kill from Crashies, or onto Crashies right there is because of that pressure from Sadak and the kill from the Tour de Force. Very good call. 5-0. -oh. On their best map. There's a reason why, even if Vlad was losing maps here and there, this team continued to look so scary throughout the regular season. The only team to beat them was NRG up to this point. Sadak playing a dangerous game around that util. They just went for the same triple push down long, by the way. And so once again, they're abusing the fact that there's no Sentinel on the side of NRG. Yeah, that there's no true trip. The trip has now become finesse. I mean, Aspas has been on this flank like three rounds so far. And he may have an opportunity to deal some more damage. Artis and Finesse tasked with holding the line. Asfas looking for one, up that close! And it's traded one for one. Crash is falling, Artis is still in a position to make a play here. They smoke Kalanzin off right now. He may try to res and then make a play, but Spike is, Spike is ticking away, time is short. Loud now going forward, it's just a tap. Oh, this. There's the res. Sam holding him back, going into the smoke, getting the kill. Finally, stop the drought. That judge from Victor is lurking right into the smokes that they're trying to use to defuse the spike themselves. And there's absolutely no chance there for Loud to come back in. And they have finally put two players on that flank hold. Artist in a very safe position, Finesse as well. One enemy remaining. And it gives all the time for that retake to be really, really considered. Right there. 
They have swapped now the setup quite significantly. Three players starting over towards A. This allows Sadak to go for this TP in bathroom that we saw a few rounds ago. It also allows him to play around the Viper Wall. The last time he held this line, it was the Viper Wall from B that did not go through Teleporter. But a minor adaptation to provide a little bit more cover to Sadak. Viper Wall to scale. Cascade goes through the window, actually. No, it doesn't. Unless under pressure now. They do have Ospos joining the fray. And just silence across the map. Vanessa is trying to get up so they can then activate his wall, activate the orb. But the thing is, that trip is covering. That trip is active for Sadak. He actually came back slightly to make sure it comes back up. You just heard the noise. Dog to get Finesse up into position, and they do spot the trip. Just at the right time, too. They clear it out, and this is just intended to draw attention and draw eyes. Look at where the spike is. Everything else from NRG is towards B. 30 seconds it's left. It's just Finesse on a solo mission. But what can he really do? Meanwhile, they know the hit is on B now. Victor tried dashing his way forward off of Sam's utility. He's not able to find an opening, and they're going to flip the map. But there's nowhere for them to go. Finesse died A, too. Ooh. That's a huge opening, but Aspas is still here. They still have a lot of numbers. Can he delay? Can he deny? Yes, he can! So labored on that approach from NRG. They're the ones who are supposed to be able to slow things down with the harbor on their side, with the Sage on their side. But coming through Huka here, again, you're right. This pull for Finesse to get up on the Lurk is to insert him into laps and also call rotates over. But they didn't pressure enough on B to have less down with the fuel. He had full fuel on his Viper Wall, drops the Molly, and they just went through. Attack side up, traded right back. A one for one. Is both big weapons still in play? Now they have the Viper's Fit that they're gonna try to play around. And a Trailblazer again, loud, using utility to just deny so much space, but then also get info. And this smoke, it's not gonna allow Sadak, actually it just fell. Sadak can now break this dog. The wall comes up though and caught in the middle of putting his trip. His TP down, that's easy kill on the Tui's who the stun targeted. Really had no options, had nowhere to go. Sadak's pressure, finesse in his lap, and the kill goes his way. Spike planted. This might be another round heading over in favor of NRG. They've got big numbers here, they have post plants set up. They've got what they're looking for. The wall, Artis with the op. Spotting ahead, not taking it off yet. Artist has so many nice angles to play around yeah, the does. specific wall that he's putting down. You have Sam up in showers, cleaning up Kamazine. And less than a 1v3 with a flash <laughs> in his face, with a wall in his face. I don't know where he is. Yeah, time not on his side, and a miserable area of the map to try to hold. Some life still here on Bind. NRG are so good, specifically crashes with that Trailblazer. They consistently are using something that no other team does, which is the sun from the dog to find themselves kills. And the NRG crowd has awoken again. Sadok's under pressure here. Double Satchel coming into bathroom. With Amali as well, so he's trapped in, but he does have that TP. He turns the flash and gets the kill anyway! I mean, what a freak! He almost got that one too. Yeah! That one shot out before hitting the TP. Sadak actually showing that that other game was no joke. This is a serious idea here from Loud. And that he's formidable on the agent. Not just the composition, that's wacky enough, but it's the fact that it's Sadak who's in that role. The crazy part is, last year, this was NRG's comp. This was the optic comp. Yeah. Get trade back from artists with the op. 
But again, all attention from NRG has to be towards B. Kawanzin is here. Aspas has joined. Aspas has joined. He's now dead with the Reckoning. Some space gain. Welcome to my world. I mean, they're investing everything here. The Reckoning, the Viper's Pit. Spike planted it. Loud haven't right given here. them many post plan opportunities, but the ones that they have have been fairly good. Especially when there's no flanks, no serious flank. Right now, Sadak, though, is providing that pressure into the pit from the backside. But that kill, though, I mean, you saw how easily that last round was cleaned up once it became a 4v2. The numbers are obviously a big problem standing. here, but again, you've got the Sage Wall. You're going to have to navigate around the Viper's Pit. Free kill. So many things so. in their favor to secure the round. A heavy investment from NRG, and it pays off. That <laughs> TP goes right back into the spike, I'm pretty sure. That is the second man down situation now that NRG has put together. The last one that they won was the Crash's 1v2 back on Ascent. They've been struggling when they lose that first pick. And here it's even harder for them to get into that. Argus is not playing that jet. It's starting to pick up that attack side off though, and it's actually paid off in dividends. He's gotten both first kills since he's picked it up. An ace up their sleeve. Judge now bought from Victor. You've seen him multiple times double satchel up into lamps. Sada gonna join and fight him again. He's denied him before. Turns that flash. Remember, he did this in the previous round. Start to see so spam come through, and that setup is beautiful. The initial bait off the judge and the swing from Artis. Artis up to four. First kills, three since he's picked up that op. He is dominating the server now. Vanessa has to make some work here. Oh, and he's not able to. He tried to reestablish control in showers. But NRG on site equalized anyway. Damage shell with the judge, but not enough to get the kill. A 2v2 now. As the spike ticks and you see Crash, he's re-exploring, trying to take some space in showers. Such an important area of the map to hold in these post plants. And he has filled the space. Waiting now for Loud to make a move to be the aggressors. All attention on them and I don't know where those bullets went. It's all in Crash, he's now. Another 1v2, can he land it? Yes, he can! The Red Bull Clutch for This guy is just saving them over and over and over. The work being put in there prior to the clutch. Saw him falling though, he had to tuck all the way. Less looking to go put down his orb on top of the spike to help count. And without the information, he is just perfect in those situations. But also, I mean, think too. If him not repositioning the showers, he doesn't get that 1v2. He doesn't get the first. Yeah. Peaks, and he was top with all of them. He's just been so good this year. These approaches since that attack side op have been really good. Okay, that cascade. That's exactly what they want with it. Blocks the flash. And they're able to swing where Kalanzine thinks there's nobody. And you can't even hear that like a like a jet smoke or an omen smoke that goes down. It is much, much deeper than you expect. That's a way to get into the first kill battles. And that allows Finesse to hold things back showers. Remember, when we first saw that tech, it was off of the Viper Orb. This time it Cascade serves the same purpose. You're actually allowed to be much faster with it. That orb takes a yeah. significant amount of time to get into and block. You gotta be careful here. Energy are flipping the map. They're gonna be rotating. Sadok's here. Through mid, and you're right. He Sadok only has a headhunter, though. Has posted up. He's got six bullets. The Trailblazer to push him back as well. Two, he's close by. Well, he was close by. And they know. I mean, they've got his position. They know exactly where he is. They're hunting him down. If it's not the Satchels, it's the Roombas. And if it's not that, it's NRG. Sadok tried something there to pull back his trip as well. So that if they do enter lamps, they don't think he's there. Doesn't even work. He has a weapon now. 
but you see how devastating a, a sage can be in post plants like this. You're down in numbers. You already have a ton to deal with. Well, I mean, particularly when you're not playing a real anchored setup. Yeah. So you can't break this wall significantly fast. Just takes way too long in the post plant. It's the rotators who are breaking it. My ult is ready. They get some damage. Time's already gone, but... Yeah. I mean, if they started that a little earlier, all of a sudden... Energy brought this back to five. Loud was up so much. Was it, what, 6-2 at one point? Last round Something like that? Yeah, four rounds in a row. Talk about a comeback. And I'm looking at it now. Right back into the action. Artist with the op. He's got Rez online. Last round of the half. There are a lot of tools for Loud to work with alongside that. The kill did net. Sadak the op last round, remember. This tour de force, he's going to be able to now control a side. He's on top of what normally would be blocking his vision. Energy's actually pulling out the old 100 Thieves wall so that they could go and take elbow control. They've been mostly ignoring the B side on the hits because Les has been a beast, but this time you know they want it. He's just up by himself. And he deals some damage. He drops finesse. Now Kawanzin tries getting a little bit more. The Rez online. Victor going forward with the ult and punishing the aggression. Parallel Boss, walls though. now sectioning off B. And you're right. Aspas looking for it with an ult of his own. What? I don't know how that didn't get a kill. But it's Victor who's still standing. Sadak and Tui's. Oh, the gun! The gun! The team up. And Tui's cannot. Betrayed by the barrel is Tui's. And now Sadak with his ult. A tour de force in the face of a 1v4, in the face of the crowd, in the face of the reckoning. Seemingly insurmountable odds. How the heck do you pull this one off? That's gonna help things, but it's a 4K for Victor, and it's six for NRG. Five. Push, they're being tested by Loud. And I think it's super, super important what Sean said about Sadak trying to find value on this attack side. We saw it against CG, it wasn't the greatest. Oftentimes he was alone watching one of the different sides as we get in this tech pause. Sadak looks like a spill. <laughs> it would be Sadak, silly man that wax he is. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> hey, oh, the models have caps, It's too. on his mouse pad. It's like going through a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cleaned up. But it's, it is really, I mean, you saw him struggle even to find good TPs of use. Oftentimes, you had to wait for his team to take some space before going for a TP. And that was where he really did find some value. It wasn't much, but it was something. The other thing, though, is that trip. He's been putting one significantly deeper, and it does allow some control of the flanks compared to what NRG was doing, where they had to put bodies on it. 14 and 7 for the chamber, posted up outside of showers to open up this second half. What do they do? See the early wall up from Sam to deny any aggression towards a short. The Loud have a lot of their attention being here. Trying to feel out where the defenses of energy are. That smoke deep cleared. As Asmus is getting a little cheeky here. He's gone up pretty high, pretty far into hookah. You actually just saw Tui's use a smoke. They, they're re-clearing through it immediately. And it, oh my god! He just knows. He heard the flash way back before. And he's so ready for it. I don't, I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. <laughs> we'll get translations later. 5v3 here for Loud and another pistol that seems to go their way. This would be the fourth, if I'm not mistaken. It's so crazy. He just buys a sheriff on this round. On the pistol round, of all things. And they're controlling it all, TPing across, too. 
Loud will continue their immense streak here unless Som pulls out some craziness of all the pistols here in this grand final so far. That's just outrageous. And I really feel like it, it has been primarily Tui's who's finding these 2Ks in yeah. situations like this. And you just saw it there again. And that was a tough situation for him to deal with, too. Yeah. He puts his smoke down so that they can walk up to take control of that orb. But it also baits out a flash from crashes. Because NRG there, after seeing them, when he was going for that jiggle, realizes, okay, this smoke, they're going to try to walk up behind it. Loud had no intentions of that the entire time. Mm -hmm. And so when Crashes flashed through, didn't Yo, find anything, he thought he could go for a reclear. He thought they were long gone. Instead, Tui's is very ready for them. Very conservative setup from Loud going into this next round. Just two rifles. Given the success that they've had on the bonuses. I mean, yeah, we're thinking a little bit further ahead here, but it's a very good setup. Now watch out. NRG continued to control the orbs. It's been a big part of their game plan the entire time. Usually artists will wall one of the sides. Obviously now in the eco. So I want to fully invest that. But they have gained an orb for Victor, who's now three into this game. And on the ecos, that's kind of the wins that you can take. Oh. That's a big win. Well, that's actually got naded off there. That's why he TP'd. That's why he jumps in. Yeah. And Finesse is there to receive him. It was the timing on that was great because Tui's was not far off. But the position allowed Finesse to isolate the fight, get the kill, and then get away. Now they have 3A, which is where it seems like the spike is headed. Sam's playing in U-Haul. He's got a shorty. 30 seconds left. Hey, the new angle. Victor's going to have to do some damage with that Sheriff. Not able to connect on the opening shots. Looking Back up. Second. Flashed up, backing off. And now you start to see some of those guns come through for loud. And Sam had to swing there inside of lamps. Not able to take that shorty and use it to good... Instead, again, Loud will have a pretty clean anti-eco here. And also worth noting, not only is it going to be pretty clean, but the one that they did drop was not the rifle, right? So they are going to carry the Phantom. They are going to carry the Bulldog into the next round. Going up. I mean, more importantly, too, Tui's has his ult. Mm -hmm. It's such a huge key. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see both less Sadak, actually all three, less Sadak and Tui's buy up in this next one to try to use that orbital strike and bring it another bonus round conversion because they're really good so far. Two out of three. We're approaching that fourth one. Those bonuses have been such a problem so far. And I know it's early, but if they continue to execute, you're right, they have all the makings for one here. Really the first time all season Loud have really had some regional support from them, from the crowd in LA here. They've been so far away from home the entire time. Other teams struggled with that fact. But here they are in the grand finals experience that these things now, despite having two rookies on the team. Well, not only that, they seem to be making fine their home too with an opportunity to make America's their home in a massive way. There's Orbital Strike invested. Finesse is behind it. Oh, the Molly's gonna give his position away. He felt all the pressure. They knew where he was. He finds no value. Can Crashies do anything? Patient on the trigger. Looking for a second, not able to deliver. And now three's up. Spike not out. Artis on the flank. Can he find the timing? Can he find the space? Waiting to see if they're going to rotate away while Sam's decapitated on site. Leaving Victor and Artis to do this all on their own. Tui's is just fake tap the orb. Wait. While Artis is on the flank. I mean, come on. Well, Doesn't no get the kill, though. And it's still dealt. They're going to equalize this thing. Really haven't seen any big clutches demanded of the loud players so far this series. Cal and Z now. This 1v2 would be big. Left. It would require a 4K for him. 77 HP, Artis on the swing. Manages to get across. With 23 seconds left, he decides he's flipping the map. Artis had a chance here to TP. 
after he realized that there was a fake tap. Just, but without doing that, Kaunzi still has to have that in his mind. Artis could have done that while he was way away and couldn't hear it. So many places. Usually in this situation, Kaunzi can reposition anywhere, but Artis now actually has that advantage with the new TP system. Can they win this out again? Wall to buy some space. The tap from Artis. Kaunzi now swinging around, looking for the counter, and the Latvian delivers for Many moments for these energy players to step up so far. And each opportunity, they strike hard. There again, Artis, that wall was really perfect in the clutch to not only allow for a dynamic situation where Kaunzi really doesn't know how to place his crosshair, but also just misdirection. You really don't know how that wall was placed yeah, on the know, other yeah. side. Mm -hmm. And if you relapse, you're scattering over to the other side. Rushing in case that was a full tap. They force his hand and off of that energy. He'll avoid another disastrous bonus. Getting the ult up right now for Victor. Only bought a stinger up. And yeah, they avoided the bonus, but lost so many. So you could see the buy is super rough from these NRG players. A costly victory. But an opportunity to get another here off of that showstopper. Can Victor find value? You see the setup from NRG. It's just 2A. It's just Finesse. It's just some. And Finesse has fallen. It's perfect. Clearing, knowing that that is a judge position. For sure with the low money. And how prolific he is at it too. Wow. I mean, they're peppering the util in the back of sight here. And Victor has slipped the net. He's gotten in through showers, but... Sadak had never given the space up, so he's gonna be on this late flank. There it is. It's gonna be a one for one off of the ult. Sam looking for it with Guardian, not able to deliver it. It's another clutch opportunity for NRG. For Crashies, who's gonna find the first. It's free. Can he find the second? In the face of the bullets, the flash over the top, the spam through. 49 HP, still so much to do. And they're all gonna swing wide. If Sadak doesn't get the kill there, Tui's actually just gave up the double peek. But you can tell, it's controlled in these moments. They want to stop these clutches from going NRG's way, and there you see it. They start to have that discipline. They continue to hold the lead. Where it actually has felt like NRG has started to turn Kyushin when it comes down to it. And then the mid round. Two round lead for Loud. See the pings on the mini map. They want to go aggressive towards showers, and that's where energy is. They have three here. It's just pistols and one singer for artist. Victor, the first to fall in the face of the trailblazer. They have to give the space up. And you see it. They instantly turn towards teleporter to see if there was going to be a crunch, if there was going to be a pinch. On these eco rounds, you have to expect things like that. Tom comes in with the high tide though, and they do start to stack over. Finesse gets called from that B side, while Crashes continues to jiggle. So they just pull the strip back, and that's a huge shot there from Psalm. Walking into it to try to maybe retrieve a weapon. Oh, another? Oh, he tried swinging off of the stinger. Had a position to make some damage. Not able to convert. Sada on the swing, and that looked, that looked rough. But that's about saved the day there. Crashies once again in a clutch situation. This time, nothing but a classic. In the face of the Phantoms, an earthen pot among the brass. Can he find success with it? Can he upgrade? Can he do anything? He's been spotted, and that's just too easy for two E's. The anti-clutch there, out of twoies, super solid. Just an eco though, yeah, there was really no chance. Maybe if Crashes had gone on a flank, but you don't know how. They're gonna reset up in the post plant, so it's much safer to just approach from where you can start to get information off the jiggle peaks from the other team. Energy's defaults really have not 
change the setups. Just consistently the same here. Crash is in finesse on this side of the map. With the rest trying to hold on to lamp as much as possible. Sadak looking for a quick one with the op in this round. And if, wow. I'm, if I'm NRG here, I'm looking to do some early prodding at long at hookah and then fall off and play full retake with Psalm's Reckoning. Deep mid. Victor Tucking staying alive and Tui is on the counter. That one-two punch is just so devastating. That timing's so unlucky for Victor. He just stepped into the nade's position. Yeah. Finesse getting spammed once again. The gun giving him away. And that's the cue for Aspas to go. They haven't even picked up the spike, but I mean, the sight's all theirs. And they even have less to hit the late flank. This is surgical. And again, Finesse falling early in that round. He's getting mauled. 30 seconds left. <laughs> that was uh, yeah, That's two weeks from window. I thought it was yeah, last spot. So too. <laughs> I was like, how did that hit? That's crazy. And this is what I mean about this late flank. Look, oh my energy goodness. are already calling to save. And Les is behind them. Not able to get any of the kills, though. Position given away. The question is, do Loud hunt? Do they go? They're hunting. They're completely giving up the spike right now, except for Sadak, who does stay with his TP. Ooh. All of a sudden, Aspas not feeling nearly as confident in this fight. Outnumbered, and you, I mean, you even see it, the rest of Loud not pushing forward. And look at their, I mean, right their money's there. not great. I don't know that they can really afford to do this, but they're gonna try anyway. <laughs> they're hungry. Imagine one of these guns gone. Yep. That's another eco forced out NRG. So it makes a big deal there. Stay in range of my skin beacon. And bigger too, Som did not have any room for extra ult orb, so he already had his ult. Meanwhile, Aspas gets his ult online too. 30 seconds left. So just taking that duel, that extra duel, nets them that. Loud. They don't quite force the eco out. They still have those two hero rifles. And it's a full force for NRG. They've actually put them in an uncomfortable position here. This right here is a match breaking round. And Victor instantly TPs, I think because that flash didn't actually spot anything. So he wants to maybe find something with that wall out. Little bit of info attempting to be gathered while Les is in a brutal spot. Just one gun. I love it. In the mid round here, especially with artists having that res. Just take a duel. They even out the situation instantly and still take down Les too. Sadak has knifed his way through the wall. Has the position to make a play in showers. Meanwhile, the deep flash up from Crash. He's late in the round, confirming some suspicions. Oh, he's got the op too. This could be a surgical blade. Hold the scalpel, or is it going to be one out by the judge? Much less refined, much less precise, but much more successful. Launching smoke. Still tools, though. Sadak now with that smoke on laps has an angle to fight back sight. Thirty seconds. But the second left. slow coming out Total from Artis as well. Just delays so long. Well, Sprint smokes last a long time, but yeah, they last forever. They've given him back sight now. Backside's difficult to hold. Sonic fighting one with the op. Repositioning now, and they're gonna fight. They're gonna fight into U-Haul. In the face of the Reckoning, they're gonna go forward. Go! Oh. Sonic almost catches one. But NRG find themselves at a 2v2. Finesse has the ult. And it may not matter at this point. He's gonna show up to the play. Maybe find cover around that, but Som gets three. Good attempt there out of Sonic. Uses his TP as a drone, uses his body as a drone. And unfortunately for him, the position's so strong. NRG handled that very well, obviously. That was, again, low buy. They had the two hero rifles and then everybody else forced up around that. One enemy remaining. Saw him in the back of sight, able to pivot over and over and over. Stop fragging for his team. And they do stop NRG. 
They stop Loud from getting up to match point here. But look at this ult. It's a full house. Every single one so pivotal, you too. To play, just play. when you think you have them on the ropes. I've got your trail. With the financial advantage, you have to deal with that. Oh. Victor's done. Som feeling the pressure. They drop the pit. He's going for it. I've got some top drop Som. And he's going to continue to scale. He's pushing his way all the way up into spawn. Finesse looking for Sadak. Finds him. Oh, he's low Spam through. Like he was so low. Wouldn't be surprised to see Tui's try to reflank and go out into this pit, but instead he's actually holding on. That trip went down. Flash just spotted Artis. Can he really make this work? The Trailblazer finding him too. Tui's falls. Artis continuing to push forward. And remember how far up Aspas got. Crashies, it's gotta be careful! And it's not careful enough! Artis 1v3, 1v2 now! And he cannot deliver! Loud get to map point again! It's already 1-0. NRG. Again, the economy broke for them. But honestly, they have to try to dig deep here. They don't want to be put in a position where it's their map pick. And they lose it. Because that makes it a reverse sweep necessary. We saw one this morning in Pacific. But it is so, so, so rare. Especially in our grand final scenario. Creeping forward, getting some info. Remember, just sheriffs for them. Saw him close by. Bonk. <laughs> Bless just pushing forward off of that. Meanwhile, Crashy's getting some info. The wall up. Som gets a kill. And that's why the high tide is up, too. He just randomly spammed with a sheriff, of all things. Artis is going to get a lot of pressure here on the other side of the wall. In hookah, does he scale forward? Is there the potential for help from that. teleporter? Oh. I don't know if they know exactly which position that went towards. Here's the Molly's in, though. Flash him to protect him. He has a pocket. They decide otherwise wisely. They're going to force their way in. Now that they spotted Finesse, just has the Sheriff. They're very happy to get in. Cowan's got all the way to elbow. I don't think they know. I, he's not just in elbow. He's all the way up. He's pushing his way into spawn. And you're right. I don't think they're aware. They've been surrounded. They've been pinched. The smoke, the only thing that's keeping them back. Left. Finesse falls. Cowan's in on the flash. And then the werewolf ought to turn around. But Victor beats him. 4v3. 4 NRG. Spike planted now. And the pit. Oh, a devastating prospect. Can NRG do this? They have the numbers. They have a judge for Artis too. They have some positioning. All of Loud is tucked inside their pit. But now Aspas re-exploring. Time is short. Just a couple moments now. They get two big ones. Aspas in a 1v4 to try to clean it up himself. And NRG stay alive. The pressure of that pit, the pressure of the time, and the stakes online. How have they considered and corralled loud into a fence? That is just ridiculous. That Goombot is well just going off the side. And we're back to the same scoreline that loud was able to close out a set with. Energy still have not been able to recover their economy since a few rounds back. But they are starting to really eat into the bank of Loud. And all those ults were used by Loud. Remember, we had a full house not too long ago. Tom first the wall, then the Cascade, the Trailblazer out through, and Sadak still getting the kill onto Artis. That's just so impressive. Second Cascade down. And Loud just disrespecting it. They're scaling forward into it. Som, flash, turn two! The third for Som! Spike down A. Numbers yeah. NRG still. And Victor Azolt. Got the spike. He's going to be on this late flank. And are they aware? How can you possibly expect that? Spike planted. 
focusing now on what's before him, and they've gotten two. It's Crashies, who's gonna have to clutch it out to keep it alive. And Crashies does not miss again. For the third time this series. He gets a 1v2 in a crucial moment. One enemy remaining. How do you do that? Saves their game, potentially the series, but Psalm 2, the 3K in laps. Two rounds in a row with huge impact. 22 and 13. <laughs> the IGL on Chamber 2. It's crazy. Two big ults here for NRG. Harbor's reckoning, Victor's showstopper. And on top of that, Victor's going for the op. We saw a lot of attack side opping from our artists, but Victor for the first time picking up here. Out of that timeout, definitely could catch them off guard. And they have to stem the bleeding in terms of first kills on this defensive side. Sam has been challenging so frequently against this lurk. Less through it though. He's in trouble. <laughs> yes, he is. Meanwhile, Victor getting one with the op and stand! They just hold on over and over. one that I, I was looking for first because there were three pushing up sand and you mentioned that at the very beginning Victor with the op holding that angle he delivers the one-two punch of Victor flying across with the old afterwards and this place went insane it's been three gun rounds in a row for NRG and of course in the final round of regulation here, we get a tech pause. There's an audio issue on one of the players' sides. Just dramatic effect at this point. <laughs> Just want to keep you guys at the edge of your seats. As soon as we get this rectified, we'll get back into the action. And I've just been told, good news, friends, we're back. Jumping right back into things. Last round of regulation, a reckoning in the hands of Som. The op still for Victor. Final round, guys. You've been fantastic all day long. Let's make some noise. One more round. One more round for Loud. Couple of bolts close by. The op in the hands of Victor again. Trailblazers traded. And the moment tense. For Loud, an opportunity to take down NRG on their best map. This battle between Psalm and Les has been so key. Sonic was taking it earlier, but they've swapped Les onto it. We've seen how hungry he can get with those lurks, but it's a dangerous affair now that Psalm has really downloaded you. Remember, he still has that reckoning. Whenever energy want to fall back into a retake, they can, but so far they want to take this challenge. How bold is Artist stay? There are three here. Oh, he's flashed. He can't see a dang thing, but Victor's still getting the opener with the op. Looking for the second. Tucking in the smoke and peeking right back into hot spots. What a play! Oh, unreal! 3v2 now, and they still have the reckoning. Now showing up. Victor is elbow control. Kawazin and Les. Forced to pull a miracle to keep them out of overtime. And it's now two. It's now one. Can Sam do it on his own? One, but no! It looks like we have a setup here on the northern side. Yeah, and, four players. And Tui's has a paranoia. He's here for the setup. If there's contact, this could be a trap. And this could be a disaster. He didn't throw it. Smoke out. He's waiting for it now. There's the paranoia. The swing out. As both are just stunned. It's a stalemate at the beginning of the round. Dancing around the utility. Nobody can see a thing. Everyone flashed. Spike down B. And the spike is still not out. NRG of Calm things down for now. Townsend wants to die there, so Tuis can take his position Oof. underneath. 
but he does let him out. He was hoping there that energy continued to go forward, but with Victor lurking all the way through a drop, through a site, through into halls, all of a sudden, you're seeing them set up for a really nice post point, but they also have Tui's who got the information early. The rotate is here, and he's also on the flank. They're turning back to him. Expecting the aggression, what? Can he get on the rope? No, he doesn't even know what's on oh, the other side, off. so... He has to stay, actually. And somehow, some way, Lass has even gotten into a really nice position for himself, too. That deep flash went into spawn, left. so you're right. Less has gone unchecked so far. Sam having to go exploratory. Regretting it now. Less cleans him up. The wall, the only thing keeping him up for now. 48 HP was not going to stand a 2v2 as the spike has been planted. Crash, he's going forward right into the weak lap of Sadak. And Tui's his turn to strike. Took so long. Remember how good he's been in pistols. Another opportunity for him to deliver. Cover going out. First one not going to land. This time it's Crash. He's who finally gets NRG their first pistol of the series. I can't believe that, too. Given how close this series has been on the first two maps. The fact that that just comes now, the fact that we're just going to be starting to talk about their anti-ecos and their bonuses, Loud has definitely been in control economically. On three out of four halves that we've had so far. Let's see if NRG can snowball to something similar to what Loud did. There, Loud honestly had a out. great setup to really punish what NRG ended up going for that just didn't spring it. So execution, slightly mistimed. And both of the players from Loud there dodge the flash or the, the stun and go in for a reflash. Aspas has actually bought a stinger here. And he's so out of the player right now. Looks like he was expecting perhaps something out of dish, but now going forward, rotating quickly. You see, he just gets there in record time. Well, a benefit of being outrageously fast. Meanwhile, that fight on the northern side up by dish. There's two E's who went exploring, and he finds Victor. They're gonna go for a repush here. This is NRG's bread and butter. Meanwhile, last pass is already left. He's rotating off, and there's a lot to be had here. It's just artists who, remember, they swapped the stinger onto him, so they're not losing much there. But Kalanzin gets another one, and Aspas is here with his own stinger. He's already on the site. He's gonna play these smokes. There could be a flash. No, he's fighting. Just a one for one. Sadak had a flash, I thought for sure, with his arrival here, timely. He would have gone for that instead. There's actually just kills traded. It's a stinger in a share. Can he get up drop to get the gun? He does. The Seekers, too, to cause some problems. Both Crashies and Sam sitting on site. The Trailblazer, the Molly. Sam catching some high ground, just barely slipping the net. Can Kalanzin and Les take this back? Will the retake work? Remember, they didn't have much to work with here, and time is short. Sam, well done by Crash. He's leaving it all on to Les. With the flash in his face, the time not on his side. He might get both the kills done, though. No. They'll both survive. If he stays alive for a little bit longer, they have to continue to deal with him. And that ends up being pretty costly from NRG. Not the worst situation, especially given that Aspas actually bought into that. He's still going to have... Light Armor Vandal, no wall, which, honestly, it's really hard to find defensive wall opportunities to use it. It's much, much, much more important on the attack side. Playing musical ropes here on the NRG side, <laughs> trying to figure out where their default is actually gonna be positioned, and it's mostly arcade pressure, with Artist being the one person lurking. Pull that one way. A little bit of damage onto Kalanzin. I wonder if they're... They thought it was clear because of a knife early. Didn't see quite where Sadak is throwing it at the beginning, but most of the time, even in tower, you're throwing it all the way across the halls. Nice nade. To buy some time for Sadak, and then the peak too. You see what the setup was there. It was the fault line from Finesse to allow Crash to take some space. It's so nice from Sadak to re-clear Insta there. So aggressive, so confident, and he gets a kill out of that. He's been so good at weathering aggression from NRG this series. Sadak, what makes him such a 
strong IGL is despite IGLing taking out the brunt That's of it. Right. He is always, always consistently able to frag out maybe some games here and there. He's not staying in the pack, but with the team that he has, it's unbelievable that he's even able to do that. There's just so much firepower on there. Yeah, that you wonder, left. how is it that Sadak manages to do These what he does at times? So confusing. I mean, Therese is in, Therese is in their spawn, Spike and down, so is Victor. <laughs> They're just trading places, and we're yeah. seeing this a lot. I mean, 40 yes. seconds, there's obviously no chance here, but... Yeah, it feels a lot like what we saw at the beginning of Bind. Yeah. Where they were just kind of passing yeah. around each other, no real sense of where the opposition was. Somehow, the top two teams in America have gotten to a position where they're dealing with chaotic situations, which is very often not the case in this region. One enemy. And we do see the bonus canceled from NRG, at least the anti-bonus won here for Loud. They actually, because of how that anti-eco was really, really poor, only two players survived from NRG. They've got a very low investment into this. Still, one hero rifle, though. On the side of Crashies. Paranoia is going to be good. And Aspas can go off of this. He's really close. With a stun, too, this could be disgusting. There it is. There's the Paranoia, but the Trailblazer no follow -up. should have bought some time. I mean, that was the cue for them to go in the first place. These trap plays that Loud are setting up, they're really not springing it entirely. They're using it in different ways. It's now Aspas who's getting bullied. But Loud are not willing to give up any of the space! They do not back down! They do not relent! Victor pinching. A moment of respite here. And it's short-lived. It's so short-lived. It's returned back into it. Cowan Zine there. With the re-push. I was talking about how those traps are not getting sprung perfectly for loud. The timing is slightly off. But no, actually, it's because they have a secondary layer. They have the follow-up. Just burst right back through with the aftershock with a secondary flash out of Kawan Zine, and that's when they strike. False sense of security for NRG after that paranoia comes through. They're like, oh, it's over. We can just take the space now. They have nothing else. It's a false reality. What is real here is this aggression from NRG early in this round, all five of them close by. And we're set up for another flash. Aspas flashed, not able to get the peek behind the angle at first as the kills go traded, one for run. And you've got to see there's a huge flank coming in from the northern side. NRG are trapped, they have nowhere to go. They smoke the turret too. The paranoia out from Tui's. He's just locked down underpass right now. Victor's still going for this round and actually it's huge. Because the players from the north side pinch after they got their first kill, they fell off. They said, that's enough for us. Sadak's dead. He is absolutely dead. I mean, we've been seeing over and over teams go for plays into the lockdown before it disperses. That one definitely ill-advised. And it's not even towards this piece site that the hit is going. Energy have worked loud here, completely outplayed them. They just got to follow up with the kills. And now the realization. It wasn't even this piece site at all. I mean, the fact that they've right-sized things given how the round started is outrageous in and of itself. But now they have to finish. Victor's not gonna be able to apply any late pressure. Loud with the numbers advantage. And Finesse gone exploring. He has plenty of utility too. Can he find the right timing? Can Sam hold the line on his own? To delay right now. There it is. Buy some time, find a window, and Finesse punishes. Now the fault line two, a really good idea of where Les is. One Great aftershock. Remaining. Very well done. Can Tui's win the 1v2? A 1v1 now, flashed up, five HP. Trying to deal some damage, but for oh, Finesse, you imagine it's a formality and it is. Oh. That was close. But he did such a good job on so many fronts there. The fact that he re-pushes up the rope Will not have to rush through spawn, clear a lot of space, and then give up any of the other space that they don't go for. Finesse walks around it, creeps his way in. And then the aftershock on drop was perfect for both anybody standing on top, which he didn't know, and anybody standing down below. And Sam as well, using his ult to delay. Get out of my way. 
Right. NRG have really outplayed Loud in these first couple of rounds, despite some really nice setups by Loud. And despite the economic flow of the game not going their way. There's another setup. They have three in halls. Meanwhile, Energy is trying to hold with two. That's what expects to fall. Crashy's with the trade. That flash is nice, but he's got to get out of there. Seekers, Seekers and he's getting out. Neo <laughs> ropes. Does that buy enough time? It does, just barely. Meanwhile, Art is trying to re-aggress with the blades. Crash just can't die on the rope. It's his spot. It's his <laughs> signature. Can artists find any more value with his ult? He's looking for it, and everyone's flashed. The stun not landing. Now they're gonna push him! And Sonic's the perfect trap! Sonic left in the 1v3. Just a tap onto the spike now, and they wait patiently. They swing with utility, and they take the round. The fact that all of the NRG players held on there for the longest time, again, in dangerous scenarios. So many flashes, so many stuns, all the way back. The great thing about this for NRG, despite it being Loud's map pick, is they've only played this once. They haven't played it throughout this entire lower bracket run. Sure. So they have more that they have not shown, for sure. Light buyout for Loud here, and you see the pings on the mini-map. It seems like they want to set something up with the fault line, take some of this early space. Here. And then Pounce B. Waiting for the aggression, expecting it. Suspecting a move from Loud that does not come. Leading up to Crashies right now, it was so silent at the beginning of this round. I could hear Crashies make the call yeah. pre-round. Yep. You know how much those veterans contribute. You know how much is asked of them in this moment. Poison's off. And you could see, actually, they wanted to look for a pick on close B. Crashes instead rotates back to Halls, uses his dog to get through against this eco from Loud. They're really trying to figure out what the eco strat is here because there are so many tools and we've seen them for traps. Over and over. Just doesn't seem like there's been enough to commit yet, and well, that would be a large investment. It's not oh, for tower, feet. though. Oh. Here we go. Did Les get hit? Les may have not gotten hit! And the nade buys some time. Les is able to pick up the weapon and get the kill on Artis! It's not just the nade there, Doug! There's a Viper Molly on top of it, too! The tools! Aspas not able to find any value with the ult, but Loud's Judge delivers. Sadar picks up a Phantom. Psalm has his ult again. It's Finesse and Psalm 2 VX in tandem. Orbital strike guy. used. Up in tower to buy some time to funnel him right into Finesse's lap. 2v2 now. Tui's has nothing but a sheriff. It's Kalantin who's got the greater weaponry. First shot's not landing. No shot! Loud pull that off! That's an eco! That right there is a thrifty! I know what that means. I can translate for you. You got eco. <laughs> that is crazy. The the setup that they had there, the Molly out of less for him to fight with that rolling thunder that came in. The nade lands on top of it, perfectly timed to one tap the first player through the tip of the spear. And NRG can't be happy Find about that. Looks point. like they might want to go and fast through the one way that they normally place with the stun that comes out from Finesse. Meanwhile, Aspas has an op on the opposite side of the map, so if they don't gain any traction, if they're not able to turn this into something, they may end up rotating back, but they find an opener. And Kalanzin there definitely was scared of them going through. They don't have the Neon in this comp, but they do have the Jet. Jet can dash through. And so his stun was way advanced, yeah. much closer to the door. Tui's peeks off of it, and there's nobody stunned. Smoke's invested by some. And Artist fills the space. Now lockdown used too, but energy have taken everything that they could possibly want at this point. Delay just for the time being. And then he's left Som here by himself. He gets spammed through the smoke. 
And now they have the pit they're gonna have to deal with. Pit retake. Spike is playing in the corner. Kalanzine finds the lurk on Victor too. This is gonna be so difficult to deal with. I don't know that they really have enough tools to deal with this pit other than spam. I mean, Finesse has an aftershock, but that's it. Yo, Pearl might be banned, but we're right back to it. The spam's through. Kalanzine sticking in. Oh, got half though. Three quarters of the way. Next, it's up to Sadak. It's just a tap in the face of the stun. They have to reposition, and Lau takes the fight, 10 RG! Excuse me? Sadar just spammed two through the pit. And you gotta smile if you're Sadark about that one. That is crazy. And the great thing about that decision from Lau, they don't rely on the spam. Yeah. They don't rely on them getting lucky yep. and not getting killed here. That was the last two bullets of his clip. He gets two kills. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's on the line right now. And NRG's been forced again to save. It's been two rounds in a row for Loud. Loud are the ones who've gotten the only thrifty round win, the only eco of the series so far. Can NRG do the same on demand? Will they be able to give the crowd a reason to return the chant? Aspas already getting the opener with the op. And that's patiently buying his time, waiting to swing. And they're gonna try to bully Sada. And they do. He's already down. Is there gonna be the opportunity to upgrade a weapon though? Yeah, Finesse is the one who picks up the Phantom. They get the spike down. Aspas opping on the retake. These spams are so good, just forcing the planter off site. And going for it. See Crash, he's having to peek back spawn. Make sure there's no one coming. There's only one Molly on the spike. Start to see some of the utility come back up. There's the fall line out from Finesse. Nothing capped yet! Aspas with the shorty kill. The one for one is Crash. He's once again has to play hero. What? He's got to play hero again because two is off the pull! But Victor saves the day! Crashies is just so good. How is he doing that? Picks up the Vandal again, low buy for them. Instantly swaps to the next. And it's like he just knows where they are. The OG duo delivers. I wondered when this would happen. When it would change from NRG chance to Crashies chance. After another heroic play. NRG trying to be pacey here. The Trailblazer paved the way to push Kalanzine back. But again, you see the benefit of running a Neon in comps like this. I've got your Reinforcements train. have already shown up. I mean, his op's already been neutered. The freeze from NRG came in on Sense. Then they pop, then they strike. And now they have the tools for this real post plant. In the prior round, they only had one Molly. They only had Sheriffs. They're gonna try to funnel out of heaven. What? So aggressive. Can't believe he escaped. Art is spamming through. You see the op shots continuing to rattle off on the site. Remember, they still have Psalm's orbital strike. Crash, he's caught. Trying to take a deep breath and hail. And it's Hotspots who falls. Looking to hold the line a bit more as Sadak follows suit. Numbers NRG. They invest the orbital strike, but that should secure the round. One enemy remaining. Just now, Tui's. With really nothing to do. Save the op, live to fight another day. Did get out. And I'm not sure. I want to continue this if I'm Aspas. That's this Neon. He found the first kill on the other side, but that was just a one-off thing. Now that they know he's going for it. You're seeing explosions out of NRG onto the sites. Either way, the way that NRG played this, they used their util before they even got on the site. And Loud is thinking with the time ticking, how long it took them to get Sans control, that they're gonna go for a post plan, that they're gonna start using mollies on the spike. Instead, NRG uses those to delay, and Loud is caught in between using their util to get back on the site fast. Here's that dash I was talking about. Off of the Sammy too, it's pacey. It's right into the op of Aspas. I mean, it's perfectly red from Loud too. That put Loud in that pos or put Aspas in that position, away from the stun deep on the sight line. 
Went for a re-clear on drop. NRG still not satisfied with what they got in halls there. You saw how fast they split up from four walking back towards B to just two. The alarm bar to threat of what might be on the other side of the wall. And that's just enough for Victor to take a step back. He's not careful. He may get in some trouble here too. Less is close by. There it is. Another shot delivered. Another kill secured. And all of a sudden, the potential of another eco. They're so split up as well. I mean, it's just a spike by himself. Meanwhile, Crashies is on the opposite side of the map. One enemy. This remaining. would be the second thrifty for Loud. It was just an op and pistols, and look at where they find themselves now. Smoke down. Thirty seconds left. The spam. Zom. Surely a dead man walking at this point. Loud convert a flawless round. And again, lights, weaponry. That save dot actually comes in huge. And the thing that I didn't think about before this, and you saw it exposed right there by Loud. NRG with just the single controller. You find these gaps when they want to pivot, when NRG is a pivot heavy team. There's openings where there's not going to be sight lines blocked. You might have already used your smokes. You don't have that neon to recover like they used to play. Like Loud has in their toolkit. He's going for an aggressive peek. Artist got the op though this time, head to head. Can he get the space? First kill is going to be in favor of Artist, but the ult used. And it's just a threat now. The question is, how quickly do NRG fill? Take ropes to the northern side, and they reset. Crazy part here is with that overdrive used by Aspas, they're not even really sure where the op is on the map. A lot of times you'll see. These ults from the duelist come out to be used as weapons, and you pass the op to another side. But he still has it. They've split. They invest the lockdown. Finesse is waiting on the other side, and Aspa smoked off. Has to respect it. No follow up, no funnel from NRG. Saw Sadak get punished much the same way, looking for a kill way late. And there, the Neon can get to safety at least. NRG confirming that there's no flank from the southern or northern side, and they can turn their attention all towards spawn. And here's where Sam is. Artist getting one well with the op. The wall concealing Aspas. Stuffed him with the barrel. Peeks behind the wall and Sneddy to kill his artist. Looking to take lives with the knives, and he does! <laughs> off of stuns, flashes, and then the go button from Aspas. I mean, we're going to see it right off the bat here too, Bala. All five players up on top. Four frenzies bought up. Just Tui's. The paranoia smoke. Starting to farm up some of the orbs for Sadak. You see what their intentions are. They're just drywalking. This is actually crazy. Right out of the NRG strap book. Artist is taking so much damage already. Somehow, NRG have walked into underpass at this point. They literally traded sides. Aspas might be behind them. And I don't think they're going to know. Ah, uh, Spots, there's the Frenzy finding the kill. And now they have to turn attention that way. That was close. Not able to deliver. Ah, Spots still causing problems in spawn. Like a pesky gnat that has to be dealt with. They had to smoke him off. They had to spend one of Sam's last remaining smokes on him. Oh, this looks like another pistol. It's going to go in favor of Latin. Let's crash. He's can do it again. No, he cannot. Shutting them down. Just one pistol for NRG. Everything else goes Loud's favor. They're so strong throughout the playoffs on them, but now faltering in the final moment. And with the lead, the lead was in their grasp. They did get that one thrifty round win, but asking it here when there's rifles abound for Loud. Such a difficult ask. Artist with the marshal though. Aspas gets across that angle so Ooh. fast. And even then, I thought Artist had a chance at one. But the Bulldog from Tui's is good. And it's just pistols now for NRG. Remember here what's at stake. Obviously the grand finals, obviously the very first title in VCT America's history but a deep rivalry with so much history. 
Now the ninth time these two teams play, and they're tied at four apiece. Potentially one map away, one half away from Loud closing the books on this. Sam has gotten a gun here. He's gotten a rifle, he has no armor though, and he's got less hot on his tail. The stomping just not on his side as they continue to pass by one another, and that's yeah, gonna draw the rotates right back. Yeah. Sam is dead, and Spike was already headed <laughs> B. Seconds left. I mean, Sadak and Tuiz were literally sitting in the defensive spawn for less to make a play, for less to determine whether they could come into that B site. He did that and more. And then you saw, as soon as that kill comes in, they come through to go for the final plant. But that was not easy. That was not great. Out of the loud side. And you can see that reflected in there by. Two sheriffs. A specter still. Sadak had that in the last. Energy, now a chance. Seems like they want to apply some pressure. And the pressure works out. Les had no chance to respond. Start to see some spam coming through as Sam's getting another. It's just Aspas who's got a rifle now. Loud quietly choosing to reset. Making very little noise, giving away very little of their hand. It's been so quiet these last two rounds, trying to find ways back into it. The double tower setup, though, is going to be, I mean, incredibly tough to get through. And it looks like they want to clear and peek. If they spot Aspas, or if Aspas even gets a kill here, all of a sudden this opens up wide. That flash confirming. Surprised not to see Finesse follow up with a flash of his own. Yeah. In that situation. Or even a swing for that matter, but either way. They're getting up on the site here. Aspas is close. Oh, he still gets one. Still traded back though. Still healthy. And now NRG seem to be avoiding disaster. Seem to be getting out of this one. Sam's gonna get on the defuse. He's gonna get it to half. Three quarters of the way. 80, 90, done. Instantly converting the anti-bonus. I'm over them. And loud. Two rounds in a row now where it goes crazy in the early situations. And forces in the slow way down. This is because of this push. And an NRG. Then when they finally decide. Crash is ready to spring. The players in tower are ready to spring. Yes. My ready. Very nice execution out of NRG. They maintain the lead still. Not something they were able to do on Ascent. That quickly slipped away. One suppressed. The whole setup from Victor. Kill. Down on this tree and Aspas just working it against Finesse. That's before that wall comes up. And you can see the style they ran against EG was very, very execute heavy. Now it's a lot slower. Trying to find picks prior. NRG trying to take some space in response to the noise that Aspas just made and Loud were already ahead of it. Already rotating back A. Launching and getting smoke. the punish off of it. And Tui's just Both hearing down. the rotations, by the way. So he's calling them all the way back. He just sat in underpass. Listening to how Victor's moving, how the other players are moving. So now it's just Victor all alone. And by the way, they broke that Yuto much earlier in the round. Aspas single-handedly removed the setup and then removes Victor. Loud in a position to tie us up at eight. We wondered how NRG would be able to weather the aggression of this comp. And truthfully, yeah, there's been some of that. But honestly, Loud have been manipulating NRG's rotation so beautifully. And the two different paces out of Loud as well. Significant. The way they're rotating around too is really causing finesse to struggle to make the right calls. Now they're gonna hunt the guns down. And I do also have to say, Aspas feeling a lot more comfortable this, this day on the Neon. 
than prior. You're obviously still seeing some minor things because Hospice has actually never played Neon prior to that EG series. But he looks great today. Yeah, he does. Six and one on the first kills on Fracture. I mean, in this round, again, not only does he get finesse, but then he instantly clears out the turret, instantly clears out the alarm bot. He's just been unreal. They have... They're pinging their own spawn right now. Really concerned about Aspas pushing up into spawn like he did in the prior. On the pistol and caught finesse and saw him by surprise while the rest of his team was nowhere near. And against the same sort of thing, finesse though! Able to open up on his counterpart of Sadak. It's a split setup from Loud too. With Sadak and Les who are on that opposite side of the map. Meanwhile, the spike and everyone else is towards B. And again, you hear the quiet, you feel the tension. Not just in the arena, but in the server. Teams historically so well matched up, bringing the best out of one another. When the lights are at their brightest, and Aspas continues to deliver. Crash, he's on the aggressive swing. It's actually Victor who gets a kill, and Aspas has to tuck tail and get out. Really nice stun from Finesse there and spawn. That's a spike. Crash is controlling it now, but he's only got that stinger. Remember. So he can't really go for it, too. The smoke is going to fade and Crash is going to be sat inside. Flashing outside of it. Getting knowledge of what may be there. You got Victor to help, too. Crashies falls. They're and that's going to the spike, yeah. But Som has his ult right now. 22 seconds, that's not a lot of time to play. Can Victor hold the line? It's just less on the other side of this smoke. They've picked up the spike, and you're right, time is short. Two, he's trying to find an opening as he spike cannot. Down, now with 10 seconds, 10 left, seconds left, the clock will harmlessly Fire expire out. as NRG not just hang on to the map, but take the lead back. Eventually, it essentially comes through with a stack on top of Crash. He's trying to reinforce that position. It's too hard to get through the smokes from Outspots. Yes, he's doing work against that KJ util. But again, oh, at the beginning of round two, Finesse Perfect takes a risk accuracy. and just goes for spam. It's that sort of thing that's keeping them in this game. My ultimate is ready. Ooh. You stop thinking. Hospas is having himself a game right now, 20 and 11. Yeah, he is. Feels like he's getting value every single round in the, the last four, maybe this entire half. Pushing him forward so aggressively, using his ult. Sadak doing a bit of the same, but Again. nice spam out from Finesse. It's so you're right. Same situation, but he's getting rest up because of that no command. And they've given up the position. Last they're gonna fight Halls here. Yeah, it seems like they are. It's right into Les! It's right into Les! They have full Halls control now. They have the entire map. How many times have we seen this situation where they just run away from Halls? They came through, drop, take the site. Ult into Halls, take two, and run it through. How is that the decision that's made? They're really, really making Finesse think. And what started off with him getting that first kill, it looked like it. Sadak does not fall. No command right before. Like he's a Phoenix ult. And now you see the outcome. After that outrageous hit off of the Rolling Thunder, the lightning of cause followed by the thunderclap of effect. NRG have to save. And the quiet in the crowd is loud. Again, tie it back up. It's thunderous. It's so ridiculous. The situation that is in folded before us in this grand finals. Loud, creeping ever closer despite the lead from NRG. And the thing is, that really is fitting of what we've had so far. Every map has been close. Every map, it's been like energy hanging onto a lead or mounting some sort of ferocious comeback, and it goes down to the wire, and it seems like this third map is no different. Guns back online for NRG, three ults to work with two. The fact it's this close, 
it's hilarious that during Loud's somewhat struggles to close out series against weaker opponents, people yeah. started to doubt their map pool. People started to say, do they have something on Fracture? Are they going to be good on Bind when it comes out? Energy want to go fast, and they've heard Aspas tuck under, but there's a counter punch, and Sob holds it beautifully. Spike down, attacker spawn. Artis takes a fair bit of damage, but he gets in on the action too. I mean, blow for blow. <laughs> you were talking about it earlier. Tip for tat now. Back and forth. And that's the first time you see Aspas and the rest of his team get punished when they go for tree control. Normally, Aspas is diving across that side, but they just got wiped out by the aggression out of NRG. I mean, they have plenty of money here. You see a loud bankroll, it's deep. And any sort of gun that they can take out of the hands of NRG is magnified in the long run. And that's two. Sadak in a 1v2. 30 seconds left, plenty of time. 1v2 for the ace. This would left. be unreal. He On this stage. Sense. I mean, at best, you're for no shot. Sadak has gotten it this far. It's just a 1v1 now. And he still has time. The spam from Victor as he repositions now. 13 seconds left. Victor has a lot of utility here. But the swing out from Sadak with the flash. Waiting, crosshair trained! And the ace from Sonic! Out of all people, Sonic has just been a monster today. And it's nasty good too. That's his first ace all season long. And it might just be the dagger in this game. They take their first lead on Fracture. Like that? He even saw his reaction. He's often a bit of a showman, but he led emotion out that time. Leading from the front. Leading to a one round lead right against NRG. Bitter rivals. Finesse is in a great position to punish any push up on B right now with that rolling thunder. There's got to be follow up though. There's got to be somebody up close. And... They're just going into Artis. Does he have blades out? He does. And the no command. They just got it. It could cancel it entirely. But do you use it this early? <laughs> do you even need it this early? But they invested anyway. They've taken care of Artis. And now they trample their way forward, but it seems like Energy are going to try to flood into the site quickly. Som's in a position to make a play. Tucked in the smoke, getting the spam onto the first, but it's traded back. And now Energy's final defenses fall. Another ace opportunity, this time for less. And it's Aspaz who gets the kill, but it's Loud that gets the round. Inching closer. To becoming. Our first VCT Americas champions, now within two. And again, this game, while it might have been close, as we get deeper and deeper, Loud's giving them themselves a chance to think about what might happen in a few rounds. This might be over. And I can't help but think about the ace again. This is where NRG have to respond. Here. You have tools, you have weapons. Got to convert here, but they've left B for the most part empty. Just utility from Victor. And look, Victor has finally swapped up his KJ util. One is literally placed where Aspas likes to push up into Canteen. And then the mollies are spread. They've gone through hell off of the flash. They see Les, the Trailblazer. They're pushing. Grabbing him, but Les holds the line or at least attempts to. Cover, cover. Miss it through all of that. Tui's has an op. They drop the Rolling Thunder. They try to catch him, but they're ahead of the play. And they're going to push into spawn. They've got the spike there. And they're still getting the kills that they need. NRG with the numbers advantage now looking to make it worse. But no, it's equalized. Sadak doesn't know whether to go into A or just help out his teammate. Kalanzine does make it out, though. 
Almost made it out with a kill. And it might all come down to Finesse's timing through halls right now. It's perfect. Spike down A. That hesitance from Sadak early on before leaving his teammate might have just cost him this round. And again, at a desperate need to respond, it very well may have cost him more than that. Unless Galantine can pull off an outrageous 1v2. The timing from Finesse there is so good. And the crazy part, the battle between the both IGLs has been not just in the mind. It's been on the server too, it's been head-to-head -head battles. We've seen that go back and forth so many times now. And Finesse just quicker this time. And honestly, momentum needs to be stopped for Sada. Five on the Oh, they're going for a fast loud. push here through halls. Yes, they Always are. sent out from less. Aspas wants to go through the door, but it's used an orbital strike. And it splits them up and cancels the hits. They've been thrown asunder. Now Crash is trying to hold the line. Som gets two. Such a chaotic opening to the round. Right here. And now Som with an opportunity for more. But it traded back. Crashy seven bullets, six oh. now. One and that's enough. Remaining. The calamity leaves the reality of the tragedy for Loud as they just got decimated. NRG big on numbers, looking to tie us up at 11. So room for less to work. His magic, you've seen him moments in this rivalry, in grand finals. Pull out ridiculous clutches still. This would be outrageous. This would be historic. He's gotten one. The spam's there. He knows where the other ones are. Dancing around the cover. 1v3 with 35 seconds left. He's got to take it slow. He's got to take it steady. He takes one down with him, but we're tied at 11. <laughs> 11, 11. This map, with stakes just as high, have happened before. These ones may. As we head back into the action again, tied up at 11. What's well, the setup here? And off in the hands of Artis. And he's going to be solo peeking. You imagine the fault line pushes him off this angle if they invest it. But instead, it's a stun, it's a flash, and it's underpass gained. Patience from Artis! And he strikes at just the right time. Artis has been unfortunately strayed away from the fight between him and Aspas this game. But there you have it. Seekers pop too. That's something for them to fight for. That's also something for Artis to protect him while the rest of his team joins him in this moment. They dropped the lockdown too. Still managing to get this fight down. Is there. There's going to be there's enough a room? Cap? Yeah, there is. I believe there are two. Welcome They're all huddled the in the pit. Power. First off, missing. And now the pit. You're right. What do they have to counter? Art is trying to find a free one through the pit, through the cover. No shorty landing yet. Spike ticking away, Sadok falls. As you see, the spike continue. Som pushing forward, it's only one. Oh, it's only two, he's. Crashies, again, has to be clutch. He's gotten it to half. Does he pull off? He does, but it's too late. And Chat's got to be thinking, not like this, not again. That situation was in hands, but a slight gap in the lockdown and not covered. No Molly, no nade, no ult. And it leaves three alive to allow the pits back into this tree pressure. Artist, no op this time, can't take down Aspas immediately. But instead of re-exploring, they're going for a slow north side crunch. While Finesse plays alone, look at the money. Stinger, Bulldog, a guardian. Suboptimal at best. Is this it for NRG? Is this where the road ends? Trying to hold on for one more map. The uncrowned kings of North America still no regional titles.
it might elude them still to this day. You got pressure in from Artis. Victor close by, and there it is. You start to see some of the spam through, feeling it. They know where they are now. That's enough for Loud to hold. Concerned about this breach ult here from Kalanzine. They're getting real close to front of Halls. That's the first one. One step closer, and there's the Rolling Thunder. Tagging up some, what? but he gets the kill anyway. They've gotten it back and forth. But remember, the guns that they have are not great. This is all that they have left. A Vandal and a Classic who's going to get upgraded. 2v2 now. It's all on to Victor. Can he hold it back on 